But, yeah, you know, David is a neat guy, and, and I just know that that win that he had in Charlotte, um, you know, while, while he took it and, and won't, you know, he's not going to throw away the trophy, you know, earning it the way he earned it tonight is the way uh, he wants to do it. And I think they've, they've been close at times and just haven't had all the breaks. So, um, you know, I, I, I think that he, he just drove a great race and they had a good race car, and, and I, I think he deserves uh, to be congratulated. You know, we were able to chase Jamie down that one time when he was leading and stay with him and get by him, actually. And I was pretty optimistic, but I noticed in my mirror uh, the double zero was following me right through there and gaining on us. So I, I knew he was going to be the car to beat, and he proved it, um, you know, those, those last 100 laps for sure. Um, I mean, our team's been consistently running up front, so, um, you know, a little bit different Carl you know where, where they haven't had the consistency tonight he had a fast race car we've had the consistency we just haven't had the car to win so um, you know or, or all the pieces if, as a team to, to, to get ourselves into victory lane you know we think we've got some things up our sleeve for, for Indy but I'm sure that's what a lot of guys out there are thinking I mean it's just a place where everybody goes there all out and, and have been probably on their seven post in their simulation and wind tunnel and everything else and you know, from the Pocono race on to, to try to get what it's going to take to win at Indy.